I literally recorded this video and now I'm doing it again because the shit didn't record. Treat me like YG. What's good, YouTube? Boyd here. And today we got, you know, we got, we got a little something different. No, we're not. Basically, True Talent and Odd Starve have like went at it like a little bit, a little bit, a little, little, little something slight on Twitter or whatnot. And I just, I kind of want y'all opinions on this shit because, like, to me, I think Odd Starve did it on purpose. I could be wrong, but y'all let me know. Long story short, let's get into it. Someone had uh, made this post right here. I love when my wife comes home super drunk from a night out. Whenever my wife has a girl's night, I always give her drink money, hoping that she'll get tipsy. She's a freak when she's drunk. <laughs> she, she's out with her girls, with a girlfriend. She'll snap me pics of her with a drink in her hand and looking wobbly. That's kind of wild. Wobbly is wild. In anticipation of her coming home, Helmer and wanting sloppy sex drives me nuts. Wish she would go out more often. He later clarified, OP here, we had the consent conversation earlier in our 10 years of marriage. I don't get her drunk. I give her money. She can spend it how she wants, but, some, but sometimes drinks are had on a girl's night. We have a normal and active sex life that doesn't involve alcohol, so I don't need to get her drunk for sex. I just enjoy the occasional drunk leg. This person I said, this is great. And Truhack uh, quoted that and said, it's getting weirder. I refuse to believe these people are humans. Your wife or husband now? Why do strangers have the right to say what a married couple can and can't do? It's so fucking strange. Why are these morons trying to control everyone? This new generation is odd. Especially if it's like, because he said like it happens like every time like she goes out for girls night or whatnot, or occasionally when she goes out for girls night. If it's happened like that frequently and it's 10 years, like I think, I think these people are good. I understand the whole, oh yeah, alcohol, no consent. But anyone who's ever had like a relationship with like anyone who drinks at all and whatnot, I'm personally not a drinker for real. But you know, like if you go out to the club and whatnot, you take some shots. What well, like yeah, y'all not gonna kiss or anything? Like your girlfriend, like you and your girl going out to the club, yeah, take some shots. And technically, you're not supposed to kiss, right? If you got if you got some shots and you're not supposed to do it, you're not supposed to do it. Even if it's your girlfriend or boyfriend, you're not supposed to do it. Y'all gonna do it because why? Because y'all y'all trust each other. It's a loving, really caring relationship, etc., etc., etc. No one should have like any saying that shit. Like as long as y'all two understand each other, that's all that matters. But Ots then quoted, "True, as someone with a background related to medical emergencies." Oh, uh, uh, a subtle flex, I guess. I didn't can say. Like, oh, I, okay, I implore everyone not to consume alcohol or encourage others to do so when doing anything even remotely intimate. Well, I want to know why he put this. Did someone get their dick stuck in the vagina? Like, 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 while they were drunk and he had to pull it out? I, like, I, I'm confused. Yeah, he quoted True in saying that. And the thing is, Ots knows he's a bigger streamer. Like, right? Like, bigger streamer, YouTuber, whatever, whatever. He knows what's going to happen when he quotes someone and he says it like this. Cause like how he says, I implore everyone not to consume alcohol, encourage others to do so. They encourage others to do so. You know, they're just going to look at, encourage others to do so. They're going to make, they're going to assume that true said that he encourages others to do so, uh, to drink alcohol when doing something intimate. He knows that he's too big of a streamer. He's been doing this too goddamn long, too big of a YouTuber, not to know that people are just going to look at this and automatically go to true and be like, okay, that dude is a, uh, you know, a a, you know what I mean? Like he knows that you're not gonna tell me he don't fucking know that at this point. And the other thing is, I went through his tweet, tweet, tweets and shit. He doesn't have anything even related to this topic on this page. Uh, Ot, there is nothing related to this topic on this page. Yeah, no type of discussion or anything related to that. But it's like when True posts this shit, you decide to quote him, and then like later on, 24 hours later, by the way, 24 hours later. So after all the shit has like already stormed and whatnot, he then he goes, oh by the way, this isn't a jab at True or anything. Who are, who are we lying to? Who are we lying to right now? He was clearly looking at this from the angle of people minding their own business and not telling consenting adults what to do. Why the fuck ain't you say that the first time? So he purposely waited 24 hours later after the shit storm to then basically say, oh yeah, well I completely understand True's perspective. Nigga, personally, I think it was a job at True. He says it wasn't, I think 100% that was a job of some sort. I think he was also trying to protect himself because I think, I don't know if it was like a day or two later or if it was before this video came out with uh, both of them. This is on True's page with both of them, True versus Ots, the big debate, rehash, whatever, whatever about DBD. I think like, you know, since this video is going to come out and, uh, you know, show showing them together, he thought like, oh shit, I need to um, virtual signal. That's what it is. Virtual signaling is basically when you, um, 
take a side in like a, I guess like a situation topic discussion that you don't really necessarily care for, but you need, you know, but you take that side because you know, like people are going to support you or that you can support them. It's basically like, mm, say you don't care about like a ABCD LGHCV rights, right? You, like you don't give a fuck, but you see some type of monetary value there. So you, so what you do is you definitely support them and you definitely be on their side, even though you don't give a fuck. Like, I don't think Ots really gave a fuck about this uh, situation. Again, there's nothing on his tweets or nothing like in the recent history even like remotely close to this topic but then when true did that it's like the virtual signaling decided to come out then he decided to post about it he, he didn't give a fuck he didn't give a fuck he didn't give a fuck it was more likely because that video was coming out if it hadn't come came out the day before and he was just trying to um protect his image and shit like that because of one the bad thing about having an image like Otz, but obviously he's like a big ass streamer, big ass YouTuber. The only bad thing about having his type of image is that you have to walk a thin fucking line and whatnot. You, you, yo, yo thoughts cannot diverge from that line much if any at all because as soon as it does then like um you know if you have like a more radical thought which is not even radical it's just like just something outside the box then you'll be attacked and whatnot so his image is based off walking on that line and pleasing everyone and whatnot so he can't he can't really have any thoughts of his own that are like too far either which way so that kind of sucks because it's like you can't really ever say your own real opinion and whatnot i think that what really triggered it is how many views it got so true's post i got like nearly a million views so you know a whole bunch of people are probably tagging odds and shit in this video but his tweet got uh over half a million views but then again he waits 24 hours later after the shitstorm to then post like oh yeah i completely understand true's point nigga anyway that's all i had to say about this sorry like we don't have like a more regular video and whatnot those are coming soon it's just i just saw this topic and i was just like bruh anyway I'll see you guys in the next video. We might do more shit like this in the future if anything is like exceptionally interesting or whatnot. But with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.